Okay, we're back. This is Dave Vellante, The Cube, Big Data After Dark. We're here again with Fred Destin, partner at Atlas Venture. We're going to talk about Recorded Future, very interesting company in the Boston area. Fred, tell us about the company. So big data tends to be an abstract concept to most people. Recorded Future is a good example of making it practical. So if you think about search, what if I could bring a temporal dimension to search? In other words, analyze events, people, places, according to time. The beauty of doing that is I can start doing things like predictive analytics. So Recorded Future is a computational linguistics company that basically tries to organize events according to time. Uh, it's a Boston company by the founder of Spotfire, which is a very famous company in the data visualization space. Um, and what they do is they help things like the US government figure out where the baddies are going to be next month. So they track the Al-Qaeda top brass and try and figure out, based on social streams, forums, blogs, media, where the bad people are going to be next month. And they occasionally help the US government find them because Al-Qaeda is not that good about following its own policies, which is great for us. So you look at big data and a practical angle here, which is I want to help derive security from temporal analytics. So they started with government, they sell to a bunch of three-letter agencies where you need high security clearance to even talk about what they do. But then they expanded that to help people like Walmart and large corporates in the US uh, manage their own physical security. Stores, are we protecting stores in Latin America? Are top executives at risk of finding themselves in the middle of a protest in the Middle East? Um, they also help some of the leading tech companies in the US, and I can't really disclose who, but find out where information leaks come from. So if you're releasing the next hot consumer device and you have a leak in the media, can I map, can I graphically map where the leak may have come from, from one of my employees who may have interacted with a member of the press at a conference. So you're looking at a company that leverages big data. It's basically business intelligence applied at the scale of the web. And you're sort of making big business intelligence open to the web instead of closed inside your enterprise and try to derive insights about people, events, places, and how you can derive useful analytics, useful intelligence to make decisions about your business. So talk about the tech. So got, I'm hearing linguistics. There's got to be mathematics in there. Uh, there's certainly visualization. Uh, I, I don't know if there's machine learning. What, what, what's the tech behind this? So fundamentally, this is a machine learning computational linguistics company. So we have Google Ventures as a co-investor. Uh, we have the founder of Business Objects came on as an investor. And so the tech behind it is that they will take hundreds of thousands of news sources, basically index, scroll, and extract entities, concepts, etc., from the data, and help you organize events, people, and places according to time. Now, Google can give you great search results. The problem is, if you're trying to derive meaning from search, you actually need a temporal element, especially if you're trying to do predictive work. So, where is a terrorist going to be next month? What is Apple likely to uh, announce next month in terms of new products? Um, is a Walmart store in Indonesia likely to be targeted by uh, Muslim extremists? All these things require temporal analysis. And so we're trying to do two things, which is business intelligence at the scale of the web and then bringing time intelligence into events, people, and places. Awesome. Recorded future. Fred, thanks for taking us through and uh, describing the company. We'll be watching. My pleasure. All right, keep it right there. We'll be right back after this.